If you can run the ball effectively, the boot pass has potential to hit big for your offense, especially with younger quarterbacks. Moving the pocket using misdirection and creating simple reads by utilizing a flood concept all combine to create a recipe for success. Let's jump in and see how you can set this up with your offense. All right, so here is a basic boot concept for us. So we're gonna fake to the left here, and then we're gonna boot back around to the right, okay? So notice our offensive line here, everybody's faking. They're taking outside zone steps. They're gonna hit their first three steps play side. We have to make sure that we do not take this defensive end with his backside tackle. This will be critical. All right, so everybody's working over. We can have our Y slam release. So he's gonna actually take the defensive end, throw him inside and then leak out into the flats afterwards. Now that becomes our check down in our flood concept. We look at the flood concept, essentially we here's our deep, this is our intermediate, and this is gonna be our short. So this is a pretty easy read for a quarterback. And now there's no specific way you can do this. Notice in this one, we have the X being the person who's working across, climbing up and getting to this intermediate range. But realistically, you could do this in any way you'd like. Okay, you could have an H, you could have a Z be out here and have him run a go. You could have a sail route, you can have an over. And if you have four receivers, you could even run a backside post with this. And then you have your full flood concept but this is just a fancy way of doing it with this jet motion here to get some extra action. Now, why do we do this, right? Why do we run boot pass? One of the benefits of this is to get a lot of flow here, right? Get the defense moving here and then we are working across. This is the misdirection that comes with boot pass. And this jet motion here just helps to seal that. All right, and now that we have a little bit of an understanding of how the play is usually set up, let's go ahead and jump into the film and see some of the different ways that teams are running this. All right, so let's take a look at how the Rams are running this. They're gonna be running the jet sweep action here. Everybody's selling outside zone to the right. And then we're gonna have our fullback or tight end, however you wanna call that. He's gonna run this deep corner. That's our clear out type of route. Our X receiver is gonna be running this cross, this intermediate. And then our receiver here in the slot is gonna be working here and then leaking back out into the flat. So here's our deep. That's our first read. Here's our intermediate. That's our second read. And then here's our check down at the bottom of this. Okay, now we're selling outside zone, booting around here. So let's take a look at how this plays out. So once we get our fake, notice everybody's trying to step here, play side here to try and get these guys flowing over. Defensive end doesn't really buy it too much. He pinches in, but then he realizes it. Okay, quarterback has to make sure he gets enough depth on this boot. Generally about eight yards is what we're aiming for. Right, and then we end up getting held off here. So this is gonna be dead from a quarterback's perspective. And then what we tell them is anytime you get pressure immediately, you don't even worry about this. You, this might be your first read. You can't go second to check down. You don't have the time. So essentially, right when you get pressure in your face, you just get to the check down, which is what he does. And then we end up getting a nice chunk here. So let's take a look at this from the end zone view as well. So we step inside, he ends up realizing this and he's just gonna shoot up vertical. And then quarterback does a great job using his different arm angles and being able to fire this in here, okay? Great job by the QB making this throw. Let's take a look at the offensive line, their first steps. This looks like run, okay? This looks like we're trying to run the ball. We have to sell this. And we also have to have a good run game before we can even get to this point. No one's gonna bite on this if we're not running the ball effectively. And now if we take a look at this play here, we're still gonna sell the outside zone to the right, but now we don't have the jet sweep action. So what does that mean? Okay, so we can end up having a deep vertical here by our number one receiver. This can still be our cross. And then what we have is pretty interesting here. We have two different flat routes. We have one here and then one here. So we end up having this is our main triangle that we're working with. And then we have another delayed check down. You'll see this a lot in the red zone. If teams start to really take this and try to take the flat away, they end up leaving this wide open sometimes. Okay, so notice we have the same flood concept. We have the deep corner, we have the deep over, and we have the flat. But if it's not there, instead of having the jet sweep working over here, we add a fourth player into this here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one more time here. A lot of flow, we have a ton of space. And then another thing that you tell your quarterbacks, if something's not there, we have all the space, just run and get the yards, right? Just run and get the couple of yards. Uh, good job sliding here, protecting himself. Let's go ahead and take a look at the end zone cam here. Notice the edge pressure, that's not a problem. Why is it not a problem? Because we should be stepping and taking this anyways. 
we should be stepping and taking this even if we have edge pressure here notice our guard his eyes are play side so if, if they end up pressuring off the edge and the defensive end slants in we'll be able to take this with these two anyways so this really isn't too much of a problem when he sees this edge pressure okay boots around notice this receiver here selling this inside he's trying to shove this guy inside and make sure that he cannot go upfield to play this boot and then once he's done that once he's made sure that that problem is solved then he's going to leak out leak back out into the flats here okay we could have fired this in if he wanted to if you look at the number two read in the progression this is our number one right and then our number two is working over in this intermediate cross he could hold on to it and fire it right this would be this right here, if you see this situation, you just fire this in here as a completion, but we'll take the guaranteed yards. So as we can see, we can run the same concept, but if we make minor tweaks to what we're doing, we can either solve different problems or we can have other athletes in different roles. Let's check out some other versions of how we can do this. All right, so again, we got a Rams play here, and what we're gonna have in this situation, he's gonna be our deep route. Our check down isn't gonna be a receiver on this side. It's gonna be a drag coming across and then he's gonna be our intermediate again. Now that means that this guy is gonna be responsible for making sure that we end up keeping this defensive end inside. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. He checks inside, gets a nice hit on him. Now he's supposed to be the check down here again, so we should realistically have the same triangle and then this fourth player right here as another check down, but he's just too far inside. Okay, and his first responsibility is always gonna take importance over the second responsibility. So once he comes in here and makes this block, which is a very key block, if he doesn't have this, I highly doubt that this guy is gonna outrun this guy, right? We need, we need to have some version of keeping this defensive end inside, okay? These guys are too athletic for us. And notice again, let's look at the eyes of the offensive lineman. Everybody step and play side. This is a very important thing. Young tackles might see this defensive end and try and take this, okay? We cannot have that. We have to make sure that we handle this the right way. And here is a very good lesson for young QBs, okay? As we're getting out into our progression, we're looking deep, right? We're looking deep here, we're looking short. If it doesn't look great, we always can come down to our check down. No need to force anything, right? If you take your eyes over here and it doesn't look good, take the check down, okay? Those are easy yards for us. All right, so here's another funky version of this. We have our jet sweep, so everything stays the same with this. But we're going to have our deep route here. He's going to be our intermediate. And then we have this tight end here who's going to be responsible for making sure that nobody is able to go upfield and take the quarterback. So watch how they handle this situation right here. They got their inside receiver working in. I actually think that he should be just vertical anyways, but let's watch this block as this plays out, right? Because he has to prevent this guy from running out here. So right now we have the incorrect leverage. We have the defender here and the offensive player here. What we need is we need the offensive player here and the defensive player here. So that way we can run outside. So watch him try and work. And then once he realizes that he can't, he's not gonna make this block. Quarterback just kind of sets up. He releases, they dump it off into the flats, and this is a very delayed version of this. But again, you get to the same triangle, right? Here's our deep, here's our intermediate, and here's gonna be our short or our check down, okay? So it's always gonna be this version, this flood version here. Let's take a look at this from the end zone view as well so we can see how this plays out. He's gotta eye up who he's going first. He's not stepping in right now because this is too much of a threat. So he has to be aware of this. He gets to his guy, tries to get his hips around. If he can try and get his hips around, that's perfect. Then he can seal him and hold him. But once he realizes he can't, great job by the quarterback, taking the check down, getting the yards. And finally, if you run this play with some success multiple times, defenses will start to catch on to that. And then what you can do is add another tweak to this. This is layering your offense, adding another tweak to this, and you can throw a screen to the running back. Let's check it out on film. All right, so now we have the same jet sweep action that we had multiple times before, but now you can see these guys are just taking off, running off and stalk blocking, okay? Now, once we have our fake, quarterback's gonna set up and turn and fire, and I want you to look at the offensive line to see why this plays out so well. So once they start to realize, okay, this is boot, these guys start to commit back here, 
right? And that allows our offensive line to take really good leverage, right? Offensive player here, defensive player here. This is perfect if we're trying to run a screen in this direction. We've got this multiple times here. Okay, now we have our guys who are leading up. However, they want to define this. If you're uncovered, you can just take off. This is up to the O-line coach of how they want to set up the blocking scheme here. But most screens, you're usually going to have some version of a kick out, and then you're going to have an alley player and some type of rat killer. And that's realistically what these guys are. These guys are rat killers in this situation. And now we have the easy screen set up. They take whatever's most dangerous. As long as our receivers can get a piece of these guys, we got a good chunk here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the end zone cam right here so we can see this in full motion here. We got the jet sweep. Nice and easy fake. He's going to settle up, quick turn and throw. We got these guys leading up, kicking out, receivers taking off and blocking downfield. Good play. All right, so that's about it for the boot pass. Now, remember, there's a ton of different ways that you can implement this into your offense. It doesn't need to be a flood concept. You can also do this with a curl concept or a version of a smash concept that kind of is a flood in a way with a comeback and a deep corner and then some type of check down. There's different ways you can do this and you don't have to be only settled on one. Just use your creativity and come up with how you want to do it. So spend some time thinking about that and I'll see you guys in the next one.